Good afternoon, my name is Dave Perry. Today is May 10th, 2019. Today's lesson uh, is gonna be in the division of scaffold and the lesson plan for today will be scaffold erection. Uh, first, I'd like to start out by identifying our components and making sure that they're safe to use. These are our frames right here. What we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the boots are all locked in before we start. All four. At the bottom, where we're gonna put our screw jacks. We wanna make sure that those are clear from debris, not dented, not rusted out. Same with our, our welded frames right here. We wanna make sure that there's no rust on them, there's no, uh, no dents in them, no turns in them. These are our four screw jacks. These are the components that we're gonna to use to level the frames. And over here we have our two cross braces. We wanna make sure that we have our faster in the middle, that they move easily on both of them. There's no nicks or dents or curves where it's gonna be fastened to the frames. And then the last component we have is our staging clamps. We want to make sure some of the planks come with locking clips that we can use. These planks don't have them, unfortunately. Um, these are aluminum body with a plywood plank. They are held down by mushroom fasteners, and every once in a while you have to replace those along with the planks to get out the level. We want to make sure that all the mushroom fasteners are in there. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put our two screw jacks down. What I like to do is lay the staging down so I can do this by myself. Lay our jacks down, insert them into the, the base of one frame. This frame is now ready to be stood up. Before I do that, however, what I want to do is I want to uh, point out is we're standing on a, on a level playing field right now. The floor is. I was hoping to go outside today, but the weather's not uh, really agreeing with us. It's raining out. We want to bring these to the same elevation, close to the same elevation, so we don't have to make real big adjustments after we stand those up. I'm going to stand this frame up, and I'm going to ask one of the students, George, after I get the frame up, would you please pass me one of those cross braces? I got it. So again, we're on a, a pretty level field. If we were outside and the terrain was up and down, this frame probably would have to be held. What I like to do is I like to fasten the bottom one, Make sure the locking clip is working so the frame can't, so the cross brace can't come out. Lift to bottom down. Now, I can let this frame down and it's going to rest right here. That's a safe position where I can walk away from the work area and go get another cross brace for the other side. in, bring the top piece in, lift up, we're good. Now I'm ready for the second frame. Uh, George, I'm going to need your help with this one. Can the filmers please come over here? Once we put this together, we want to make sure that the frames are in line. Our walkthroughs are on the same side. We don't want to walk through while I'm facing it on the left side on this one and then on the right side on this one. We can also use this. This is also what we can use to, to elevate our work platform. On the top, we can have a, a storage platform and we can work off of this one. We want to make sure that these bodies are on the same side. We, won't, we don't want them on the left. We don't want them on the right. We want them together. So I'm going to lay this back down. Install these two screw jacks. On this 
this one I'll attach the top one first. You can lean this in. Pull this in. Make sure we lock on the bottom again. Now we can slide the whole second frame in. Lock it on top. Lock it on bottom. For all intents and purposes, the, the frames are put together. This is a single tier, single tower scaffold erection. We're not going to go any higher. We're not going to go any more to the left or the right. The next step that we want to do is we want to level and plumb these, right? <clears throat> but we want to make sure that this side of the scaffold is in line with this one. The first thing that I want to do, though, is take my torpedo level and level from left to right. This is magnetic, so it won't go anywhere. This is telling me that my left side has to go up. And these are just... You turn until you get it to where you want it to go. Go more. We're pretty good right there. The next step is to grab, you guys can, with the filming, can come back over here for now. What I want to do is I want to grab one of the work platforms. Another way that we could do that is to go diagonal measurements from corner to corner to get it. So on this one, we want to level from this left side over here, and we're going to use a two foot level for that instead of the torpedo level. Well, my right side has to come up quite a bit. Okay, so we know we're level on the left side from front to back. We know we're level on this back side from, from left to right. Anybody have any ideas of how I'm going to level from the back side to this side? No clues? George? That's, that's how we're going to do it. Should I grab another, another plank and put it up here? Or can I use my torpedo level on top of the welded frame? to level from the back side to the front side. Your torpedo? Sure, why not, right? We gotta go up a bit. Pretty good right there. So now I can take my other aluminum plank.
One thing that we do have to do is, uh, and I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to tell you that it should be done. Um, if we were going to be actually working off of this, this scaffold, I would want some 16 penny nails in each one of these legs, these screw jacks. Each one of them has space for four of them. <clears throat> That's going to keep your platform from moving while you're here. Since this is just an instructional session, we're not going to do that. Are there any questions on what I've done? No. Okay. So, um, in closing, you guys, let's identify the material, uh, the, the equipment that we're going to use. Let's make sure that that equipment is in is in good working order before we start putting this stuff together. We don't want to waste any time just grabbing equipment that may or may not be suitable. Um, the competent person on the job. <coughs> excuse me, will be the only one to tell you whether or not this stuff is suitable, which is typically your foreman. You good there? Yeah. Okay. So we want to make sure that we have all our equipment in working order. We want to make sure that we look at it, make sure it's safe to use, and then proceed. Um, the training manuals that we're going to be using while you guys are doing this, you guys are going to have access to these at any time. When we do this as a training exercise outside, one towel will be left standing so we can use it for our visual aid. These are going to be available to you. The handouts that I, that I put together, you're all going to have. And remember, guys, we always want to be safe. We don't want to, we don't want to rush through this. Okay? When you're talking about working on elevated platforms, safety is number one. Okay? Oh, I think that's it. Any questions? I was going to ask... Uh... How much weight can each of those planks support individually? Each plank, it, it will have a sticker on it. The rated load is 75 pounds per square foot. If we don't have those stickers on there, we're not going to use that equipment, correct? Correct. Okay. That's a good question. Anything else? Okay, guys, thank you. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I get this information in there. Um, the, the content is scaffolding. The lesson title is Scaffold Erection. It's of course WFED 105, lesson number eight, single tail, single tower, scaffold erection. Thank you.